So this track is really wobbly. I don't remember doing it this wa- Okay, uh, our train has officially flown off the tracks and hit a tree. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, and today we're going to be playing Railroads Online. So this is a uh, new game where it's basically Railroad Tycoon, except for it's in first person, and it's like a physics-based open world game where we can actually tip and, and I guess we can wreck the trains, but we're not here to wreck the train today. At least, maybe that's not going to happen. I'm not sure. I mean, there's a potential we're going to turn this into a bomb, but today we're going to try to get our railroad empire up and running. So this is what you start with. This is our little train yard here. Uh, it doesn't even have all the buildings yet. Now, do keep in mind the game is in early access. Uh, there is some things that are probably going to change. Right now, I don't even think the track like even costs money. I think that's free. Now, if you want to cut trees down, that costs money for some reason. But uh, I'm still learning the basics here. But I feel like we can get a start. So our objective this episode, which, yes, it's kind of shocking. We have an objective. I want to get to, I'm going to call it the logging camp here. Because the way this game works, you basically want to connect everything and do it in a, at least a reasonable fashion. So we want to connect the logging camp to the freight depot. Or eventually, I think we want to connect the logging camp to the sawmill. Uh, because they all kind of interact together. So the logging camp, I think you can get logs, take them over uh, to the sawmill, sell them there. And then I think you could take what you get from the sawmill and take it down to the freight depot potentially too. So you guys kind of get the idea as to what's happening. Now it's going to take a little bit of work to make this happen. So it's going to be kind of a slow, tedious process to start with. But eventually we will start to play with trains. But we got a couple things we need to prep first. But if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, this game is multiplayer, so maybe we will do that uh, here soon. All right, so we go to G here. We need to build a couple facilities for our little yard. So we want a firewood depot. This is where we can pick up the firewood for the steam trains. As far as I can tell, this is actually free right now. So uh, we're going to place it. Actually, this does not need to be right next to the track. We'll place it kind of back here. So we need to place one of these sand houses. This is for sand for the train. You want, I think you want this like right up against the tracks. Uh, that way you can dump sand down. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Right now the uh, little steam train that we have is fully loaded, but you have your water tower there. Uh, you can actually open up the top, pour water. It should be completely full right now. Uh, here, let's go and open that up. Uh, as you can see, it's got water, so it's loaded up and ready to go. Uh, the only thing it needs is actually uh, the firewood here. So we can open this bad boy up and we'll start to load it into there. Uh, it'll take a second to burn. It'll build up pressure and uh, we should be able to get going. But we're a little ways away from that. Now, this is our one and only cart right now. We can always go and buy more. Uh, so you have these little flat carts here. This one, I think, might be for the big logs. Uh, so we'll need one of those eventually. And yeah, you have all different kinds of things that you can spawn in. So here's the little porter train. You've got tier one. Here's tier two. Uh, you can see the prices here. Uh, you got a tier three, which is amazing looking. Uh, tier four trains. And is there a tier? Oh, the tier five. Now that is a train. Oh, we got a long way before we get to that bad boy. So right now we have to work with our rinky dink train. We got to also build tracks that the rinky dink train can actually haul carts on. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. So I'm going to go get my inner lumberjack on and I'm going to start to go ahead and chop down some of these trees that are conveniently placed right in the middle of the tracks here. Okay, so I don't know if I need tracks right up against the freight depot. We could also make like one more switch to direct track over there, but we need to pretty much go that way. And then we need to clear some of the mountains on the left side. I don't think we have a mountain train. Like, this thing will probably stall out. So I want to try to keep the track as flat as possible to begin with. So what we're going to do here, we got our groundwork. We're going to do a constant grade. Let's connect it into here. And we're going to start to swing it this way. And this is going to be where our track's going. Now, down here somewhere, I want to switch because I'm going to have a split in the track. And eventually we'll do a split that leads over from like, say the log area over to like the lumber mill. Okay, so we're moving some forest here. Now, before I bore you guys to death with uh, just laying and moving around ground, we probably should lay down some track here. Uh, this is looking pretty good as far as the area. 
Uh, make sure everything's pretty much clearing over here. Uh, let's go one more. Okay, and then here we go. Let's see what tracks we have. So we have rails. You have a three foot. There's all your switches. There's a uh, turntables down here, and then you have a little crossover uh, at the bottom. So what we'll do, uh, we'll connect into here. You should get a little icon like that. And we want to kind of make this gradual. So let's go boom. Uh, don't want it too sharp. There we go. It's looking good. Got to get a little bit more onto the ground here. Let's go boom and nice. Oh, let's turn around with this. So yeah, we pretty much have to run this down by hand. I'm so used to playing games where you do this like from the sky, like the tycoon style games, but it's kind of neat to actually do this from the first person. Uh, you can really get down in the nitty gritty as far as the building. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of track laid out here. We're gonna go ahead and add a switch right here. So let's turn this like so, and we'll connect it into here. Uh, we need to clear out a couple more trees. So yeah, uh, my plan is eventually the right side will go to the sawmill, the left side goes to the logging camp. Eventually I will make another connection uh, a little further up. That way you have a direct path from the logging camp to the sawmill. But that is much later. I really just want to get to one of them this episode. Uh, just to prove to myself that I might be able to do this. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. Is it switched right? Okay, so it's switched to the left. You know, we could take the train down here. I guess you guys really should probably see the train uh, working. All right, so we should probably connect these two. I'm going to drive a little bit down. That way you guys... Wait, where is that track going? Uh, that track was already here. Is this leading down to an area that's already built? kind of feel like it's here at random. Uh, I did not do that. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead. We've got the back open. Uh, let's go get our firewood, and we need to start loading it up. Can I take the firewood from here? I feel like that's a thing, right? Okay, so we'll just pick up the firewood here, and we can always load up more. So, yeah, we just start tossing it in there. All right, let's take some more. There we go. Make sure this thing is nice and toasty. It's going to take it a second to build up uh, steam, so uh, let's just let it take its time here. We'll load it up as much as we can. I don't know. Can we put the whole load in here? That seems like a lot, does it not? Okay, you know, let's start with that. Let's go ahead and close. As you can see, the fire is picking up, so there we go. Close that. Let's go fill up on firewood again. Okay, let's load those up there. All right, are we building? Nope, we're not building pressure yet. So, yeah, you can manually control this from the inside. There is, like, a, a another little way to control if you hit, like, F. Uh, you can control it this way. I kind of like actually getting to press everything. Uh, so, yeah, you've got your reverser here. So, of course, you can go forward uh, this way. That's forward. That's back. Uh, and keep it in, like, a neutral spot. Uh, there's your brakes there. Here's your regulator. So, that's how much, I guess, steam you're letting out or how much power you're giving it. And, of course, you got your fun stuff, like your bells here. So, we can hit that. Hold on, wait for it. Oh, it's so cool. And then you got your whistle over here. Of course, the whistle needs pressure. So, yeah, uh, we'll hook this up, and then we'll drive down the track. Uh, that way, we can be fairly close to where we're building. Uh, we might want to bring a little bit of extra firewood, though, because I don't know if it, like, slowly loses pressure. Uh, I'm not that familiar with trains, so if you expect me to be an expert here, it's, <laughs> you're going to be a little bit disappointed. I do know how to crash them, though. Okay, there it goes. Pressure is starting to build. I don't know how high it should be. I mean, in theory, we could start to uh, to move here. Uh, a little bit of the flames are coming out. Is that a bad thing? Kind of feel like it's a bad thing. Hold on, we can do this too. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? Here, let's start to... We'll put this out a little bit. We don't need much power at all, so let's go like 16... Uh, let's put this forward here, and then let's release the brake real quick. Okay, and we're going to start to slowly move forward here. I guess I can show you guys from this view. All right, let's turn the regulator up a little bit. And we just want to get close enough to connect to the cart up here. So it's not like a, more of the modern trains where you slam them together and you like hook them and put the little brake on. Uh, this is a lot more manual, so here, we'll hit the brakes here. I think eh, we're almost close enough. Hold on, let's release them real quick. Uh, and let's go there. There we go. We got the link. All right, let's go ahead and add the pin. There we go. Now let's pull forward and connect them. All right, there we go. So those two things are connected. And we're ready to push this bad boy. You know, if we had like a turntable or something over here, we could totally try to reverse this because we are going to be pushing this uh, to begin with. I guess we just really need to get it over to our destination. All right, so we got 125, I'm assuming, PSI built up. Hey, let's go ahead, make sure it's forward. Let's put this uh, regulator. We don't need it up really high. Let's go about 28, and let's go break off. And we should be moving. Hold on, it's tuned. 
Let them know we're moving. And here, I want to hit this. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, you will have to eventually, like, refill at the water tower. Uh, I don't know if the other places have them. I'm assuming every place has uh, somewhere to service the train. But, yeah, we are moving. We've got a little bit of uh, extra firewood here because I think we're going to need it because we're going to have to set on the tracks for a little bit. Uh, once we get to our destination, huh, let's turn the regulator up a little bit. There we go. Hear that power. This is pretty awesome. So, yeah, uh, you got the bell. You got the sander over here. Say you're climbing, which I don't know how well this train does as far as power. I can't imagine it being that great. So, we definitely won't be doing anything too crazy uh, this episode, even if we have to build our tracks a little bit bigger just to get around, like, mountains and big hills. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going to head down to about where we built, and then we'll continue our tracks, and then eventually, hopefully, we will get all the way over to where we need to get to. Okay, there is our little switch up there. Let's go and turn the regulator off. Okay, uh, start to apply some brakes. We don't need to be that close to it. And brakes, brakes, brakes. And let's slow it down all the way. Brakes 100%. All right, so we're just going to set here. So I, I guess it's okay. Is it going to continue to build pressure? I feel like it's got like a, a pop-off or something where it actually releases. Uh, so you can see it doesn't get above like the 125 mark. Also, by the way, there is a handbrake on this. I don't know. Was this? Oh, this might have been held open the whole time. Oh, and we got to release this. Yeah, we were kind of dragging that. We probably would have actually gone a lot faster there. All right, so it's time to kill some more forests. So let's do a constant grade and let's just stretch this bad boy out. Uh, there really isn't a faster way. At least I don't know of a faster way to do this. And Oh, no, that is a massive hill in front of us. Okay, so we're out here. We need to start curving here. I want to stay as flat as possible. I mean, we could probably climb small hills, but I don't think we're doing anything big. It would be nice if there was like a river or something up here. I would like to build a bridge. I feel like that would be kind of cool, but I don't know if our train can conquer said bridge. All right, we're going to climb a little bit here. So we'll use the uh, variable uh, railroad grade. So we'll start to incline that like so. All right, so yeah, it'll be built up a little bit here. How close are we? Uh, I feel like we're going to be going around a, a big hill or something here soon. Uh, I definitely don't want to make this uh, too tall. So here, let's start to smooth that out a bit. There we go. Okay, we are coming up to a big hill that I don't think we're going to be able to avoid. So we want to make this kind of gradual as far as the climb here. Uh, okay, we're going to be able to get up this. Uh, we might be able to. Hold on, let's keep going. Uh, we haven't laid out tracks yet. I'm just trying to see if this is possible. Uh, okay. Ooh, we are going to stall out here. We might need a small bridge. Uh, yeah, I don't see a way around this. We might be able to go around this side of the hill. Does it actually slope off? It slopes off a little bit over here. So, yeah, if we can make a turn, that would probably be good. I, I just don't have that much confidence in the train as far as big hills, especially once we get a lot of carts. Uh, we don't, I think, want that. Holy man, I think I actually found it. Okay, we might have turned a little too wide here. Now this is going to be fine. Here, we'll just come right in uh, to the camp here, and we'll start to build our rail system to it. Uh, where is the side? Okay, here we go. So we'll come up through here. All right, so that should be good. So we should be able to start our rails over here. Uh, we can always make, like, switchers and stuff and make maybe a turntable, a way to at least turn around in here. All right, so we'll start some track here, and then we will run it along the side here, and then we'll uh, slowly make it curve over to the other side. Okay, so we are connected. Let me clear the rest of this out real quick, and uh, we should be good to go to make the journey, and then eventually we'll need another switcher that way and head towards the mill. But we've made it to the actual logging camp, which is good. Okay, let's confirm that the switch is good. Okay, I don't think it's going to redirect me. So, yeah, we should be good to go there. All right, so we are ready to travel all the way over to uh, the logging camp from where we are here. So, yeah, we got a connection made. I I'm actually surprised we made it that far. All right, so what do we look like pressure-wise here? We lost any? Uh, no, we still seem to be good. We could load up some more here. Let's make sure we are full here. All right, let's go ahead and put the regulator back to there and let's release the brake. Okay, let's pray that we actually have the switch made right. Oh boy. All right, come on, buddy. Are we good? 
Should be over to the left. Yeah, so we're good. So yeah, eventually we'll make a track that goes off to the right. And I think we'll do another one of these further down. Uh, because I still feel like it's too far of a distance to just shoot straight over to the mill uh, from here. So I feel like it'd be straighter or easier than starting it from the camp. Of course, I still have to figure out how some of these systems work. I'm still learning the game itself. So we have a quite a bit of a journey to make it all the way down, but I think I have the tracks clear of any sort of trees or anything. Now, there is a couple questionable curves. We'll see if we can make it around them. If not, we can redo parts of the uh, the rails. By the way, I think we are losing pressure. Yeah, we, we're starting to lose some. Okay. Oh, uh, one thing I don't like. Uh, hold on. We need to redo this. Come on. There we go. You got to go the other way. Uh, oh, boy. Come on. Yeah, it's weird. When you switch out of the one mode, it, like, resets a lot of the controls. All right, so we are hopefully going to push forward. Okay, brake is released. Uh-oh. Did we just die? Oh, we are losing pressure like crazy. All right, we got the regulator open up all the way. Uh, let's see if we can start to press forward here. Oh, boy. Okay, so we're sanding right now. Um, I think we need to rebuild pressure here. I feel like I just uh, ruined it all there for a second. All right, let's put that back in the neutral position. Okay, let's close this, and let's see if we can build up that fire again. Thankfully, we have the firewood here. That's one thing I really like that we have. It'd be nice to have, like, a firewood cart, too, because I feel like we would need that. Okay, we're going to let this build up. It's going to take us a second to actually get out to where we need to be. There we go. All right, that should be nice and full there. All right, let's go ahead and close the door. Okay, let's ease this back open once again, and let's release our brake. All right, let's see if we can get moving. Let's turn the sander on, too, since we're starting to climb. I'm assuming that's going to help us a little bit here. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, let's open up the regulator a little bit more. Let's go about 50% here. Uh, let's kind of climb up here, watching the boiler pressure. It's still climbing, so we're good. Uh, there's a little bit of a hiccup there. I'm still learning the train, by the way. I, I'm no expert as to how to drive this thing. But that feels pretty good there. So this track is really wobbly. I don't remember doing it this wobbly. Okay, uh, our train has officially flown off the tracks and hit a tree. Where did the guy go? Wait, am I up in the tree? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, let's uh, go ahead and apply the brakes here. Um... Oh, okay, I'm still here. Wait, where did the... Um, yeah, we might want to straighten out that piece of track. Uh, so I've never had to use this. This is a rerail. Uh, do we select this? Actually, you know what? I think we're... Are we aimed the right way? We flew, so I don't know which way we're supposed to go. Actually, let's look. Oh, there's our card. Okay, we are good. Uh, we just got to rerail this one more time. Here, let's move it this way and then let's rotate it that awkward moment you're uh trying to rotate clockwise and it's not rotating for you are, are we gonna need to go in reverse also our our cart's moving again okay this has gone well see and you guys didn't think i knew what i was doing you know what? it's fine we'll just do this in reverse uh, we will actually hook up aiming the right way now see this is all gonna work out all right release the brakes start the regulator up we still have full boiler pressure i don't know what just happened there but this is fine We'll go this way. It just got the speed wobbles. I think I was going too fast. Let's turn that regulator down a little bit. Maybe apply a little bit of brake here. Oh, geez. Here comes our cart. Oh, okay. It's fine. We'll just push it. Uh, the hook is still in there, or the pin is. Uh, we probably need to move them. You know, I really wish I was on that side, but I guess we're going to have to push it to the other side. Uh, but, yeah, I'd like to apply the brakes. Actually, we might be able to do it here. Okay. Slow it down. It's going to keep rolling, though, because its brakes are not applied. Yeah, we just got to keep going with it until I guess we get to the uh, <laughs> the lumber yard. Holy man, that was cool. Hey, there it is. All right, let's uh, turn the regulator down. We might want to start to hit the brakes. There's like no stopper on the other end. I think our cart's going to fly off, but this is fine. Also, the, I was not sure about that little turn there. Oh, I'm still not sure about what just happened there. Yeah, we definitely need to adjust that. So we'll make a more straight shot out. But hey, you know what? Komodo made it to it. Uh, we made it to our destination, so I think we would load up. I actually feel like we won't load up on this cart. Uh, I actually need to rerail this, too. Uh, can we rerail this? Why is it aimed that way? Oh, the rotating seems kind of funny when I try to click to rotate. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not how that's supposed to go. 
Uh, we might have to spawn in a new piece here, too. Hold on, can I just re-rail this somewhere else? Uh, I kind of hope that's a thing. Yes, it says left mouse button uh, to rotate clockwise. That doesn't seem to be a thing. Somebody else might know about how to do that. But yeah, we would go about loading up here. I think you can load up like big logs here. Maybe we could fit the smaller logs on this. I see. I got to see what we actually need to take over uh, way over to the saw mill. I would assume the big ones. So we'll need a bigger cart. But uh, I think for the most part, can we actually build over here? Can we build like another uh, firewood depot? Oh, we can. Good. Yeah, we'll place this over here. That way we have uh, some wood to get going. Wait, that isn't the wood that we need. No, this is firewood. That's cord wood. So yeah, we'll place this back over here. That way we can keep our operations going. But hey, we made it from point A to point B. Like I said, we were going to this episode. If you guys want to see more, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.